I'm Elster Regina Foy. I've been in Broome all my life, lived here. I went off, did nursing. Uh, went away a few times, just did my nurse's training. I own my own land. I don't need land, but my family do and my friends and countrymen that belong to our tribe need land. And that's my fight to make sure that they're secure in something that their ancestors fought to keep with other tribes that were coming into the town. We don't need other tribes to fight with us. We've got state government that recognises them. So they do whatever they like to us because they're yes people. And that's the sad part of it. And I'm very um, keen to um, hear from you this morning about uh, a presenting issue that you have there in Broome, Western Australia. Can you give us an idea of what that main issue is? The main issue is Wattle Downs, which Yaru Aboriginal Corporation had bought in 1990, sorry. I wrote it all down. That's okay. and, um, so I didn't forget little bits and pieces I want to tell you. Mm. We went out to Wattle Downs yesterday. I was going to camp the weekend there. Mm. And my family usually meets me there. I go first and clean the place up and all my friends. And we found that all these people were out there with their bulldozers and front end loaders and trucks and everything, knocking down the place. It's very hard to take. But the history of Wattle Downs goes back, as I say, in 1990, before 1990. 1990 is when we were constituted. And we were, found, we were the foundation member before Yarrow Buru ever came into vogue because native title wasn't there at the time. We were on CDP. We purchased the property through a grant through the federal government because the people that sold it to us were um, friends and they wanted to give it back to the traditional people from that area because they knew that we had connection to that area. Mm -hmm. Not only ceremonial, but um, history and stories. Mm. My great grandfather got killed out there defending his tribe against another tribe. My grandmother was born out there. My father, my brother was born out there. And we did many a trips out there. Um, Crab Creek was known to us as Mangalagun. Crab Creek is a white man's name because they got a lot of crabs from that area. Mm. So it stayed, but Yambaburu has um, put in other names for that area, which doesn't mention Mangalagun at all. Has there, that's a question, has there been appropriate consultation with the traditional custodians of that area? Do you Consider. There was no consultation with us what, whatsoever. Uh, my cousin, who's um, on the BBC board, mm -hmm. um, did, said it didn't come to their, his attention when they had their meeting, so he didn't know anything about it. So um, yeah, they must have done it in January or February, got all the... Um, the paperwork from the Shire to demolish the property mm. and they acted on it. Mm -hmm. so, legal, so legally legally, you do understand that there has I, been something... I, I legally, I understand it's their land given to them by the state government. Morally, it's not right. They also do not own the house or the property on the land. Right. So they should have gave us time to remove what we can because my son paid for the sea container 
And we all dobbed in and paid for the fiberglass tank to support the water in the household. Mm. The big tank was paid by government. But, you know, there's things that we had put in from our own pockets to make it comfortable for Yarrow people to go out there and stay. Mm -hmm. So that sounds like a major issue and it's happening right now uh, in, Kim in Broome, in the Kimberley region of Western Australia. Can you tell us what you think is the resolve for this situation? situation? How will this be resolved? Well, I think it's going to be resolved if we go to have a royal commission into native title. I think native title, what I've heard, has never been found on a language group. It's always been found on a clan group. So if you don't belong to a clan, people will soon tell you where if you speak the language, you can be a person of that area. That's a big call, Elster, um, for a Royal Commission into native title. Um, well, on the, in the But then it's, their life, it's our life that they're dealing with. It's another side of another side of genocide if that happens then what ha what hope has my future generation got to keep ourselves going and that's how strongly i feel about this i'm 83 years old i'm not going to be here forever uh elster in that regard as your words ring out about this particular issue in the immediate context what would you like to see happen with those who are occupying that um, particular um, location at the moment? Well, I want them to clean up the mess they made. I want compensation for that house they're about to pull down. I want them to recognise that we are the TO of that area. And as Judge Merkel said, that they should consult with us when we had the native title that we have a um, affiliation with that land and um, he recognised it was our area. So I can't see why these people can't recognise it's our area. They're supposed to represent us.